turn around and he was a starter. Um, I thought he battled in his first start. I thought he went out and did some good things. Um, you know, typical, some things you want to get back. And you watch film this morning. There were some things that he missed. But there was a lot of plays he made as well that I thought kept us in the ball game. And uh, so I was extremely pleased with the way he went out and battled. Can't turn the ball over to him like we did. We got we got to value the football and take care of it. Got to protect better because you got to secure the football. Better at the end, um, but besides those last two drives, I thought overall I thought he had a good day. I know that Lovey said the brain is your quarterback and he's a starter. How much confidence now do you have in that? Additionally, now that you've seen it out on the field against a defense like Michigan. Well, I mean, every game obviously puts more. Uh, Confidence in him as well. You know. I, I, I've seen. I kind of know what he can do. I think. Um, sometimes it's a matter of the kids believe it more so than what I believe. Uh, they believe it themselves. And uh, you know, the more he goes out, he has success. He can make plays. Do some of the things he did against, particularly against a highly rated defense, like it was. Uh, it's got to give him confidence. How frustrating is it for you right now when the running game just can't quite explode like it did, you know, five or six times last year? Well, I mean, obviously you, you want more production out of it, but I also think too, if it's the way teams are playing you too, there's a reason for it. Um, it's not like we forgot how to run a block. I mean, it's, it's a, there's a lot of things, you know. So I just think teams are trying to make you throw the football a little bit more to beat them because it's a numbers game. And uh, last year's a little bit different. We probably broke a few more tackles or maybe have a little more splash plays that created some long plays that basically if you go back and look at the stats, if you take away the long run, you're probably about the same as far as where we're at right now. We just we, we blocked the long uh, burst play that we had last year. And like I said, part of that's due to teams I think loading up in the run and saying, hey, you'll be this with the growth. On that uh, angle, Ron, how committed does a play caller do you have to be? When you face Wisconsin, it's week number one in the nation against the run defense, just to stay committed to running. Yeah. And understand two or three yeah. yards might be a positive play. Oh, yeah. Well, we would say that for the last couple of weeks, to be honest with you, because I think Michigan's defense is as good as anybody's as well. Right. Uh, this is this coming in. Is, uh, I mean, the numbers are putting up is phenomenal. So, great challenge ahead of us. We do. I mean, I'm going to be consistent with what I'm my approach. Trust. I, I believe 100% in our system. 100%. Never faulted from that. Uh, it's all about execution from what from our standpoint. We talked to our guys this morning. When we execute, if we, get, if we can get ourselves to execute the four quarters, like we did the second and the third quarter of this last game, then we're going to be smiling. And uh, I think kids are starting to see that a little bit more, particularly when you go up against a team like a brand name like Michigan, who had a good football team, but our kids saw, hey, we can play right with these guys when we play. I think it gives them a shot in the arm, a boost in the arm of uh, confidence. And uh, you get the same type of test coming in this, this week, maybe even better. What was the point? Isaiah and Matt there, what did you think about that more? Yeah, I want to get both of them. I want to play both of them. Obviously, we're going to start Matt. Matt's further along at the point right now in terms of everything. He's older. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it makes sense. But I'd say it's such a talent. We want to make sure we keep getting him ready. Getting him ready. And uh, I want to play him. And uh, Matt. Isaiah got a little banged up and uh, couldn't go the rest of the game, so Matt, Matt, Matt went the rest of the way. Coach said after the game that Matt kind of brought a weird juice to the offense. Is that something you noticed too? Like a weird juice? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was straight round. <laughs> uh, you know, Matt's, you know, Matt, Matt, Matt's a little bit different mentality wise as far as personality. Uh, maybe that's what we're talking about. I don't know. He's, you know, he's kind of a reserved, quiet guy, kind of like Brandon a little bit. Uh, but he's a confident kid, and uh, he's, he knows what we're doing. He just, like I said, I think the biggest thing for him is to continue to keep getting reps and, and, and uh, keep learning. And, uh, I think Matt has a chance to be pretty good player. It's all set up. Ricky goes down with that injury, and then Casey Washington comes in. What yeah. impressed you about him, and what, what do you think his role could be moving forward? Well, uh, you know, I've been high on Casey shoot, since he's got here. Uh, Casey's biggest thing is make sure he knows where to go and when to go. It was, it was the biggest thing for him. Catching the ball, running the routes, all the physical attributes that you want, he's got. And I think Casey Watts is going to be a tremendous wide receiver for his time done here. Uh, but, I was talking on the phone with Coach, Coach Stoker 
he asked him, what do you think about Casey? I said, how do you think about him? That's what we do they think about? Get him in, he's playing. That's the only way you learn. So uh, he went in, thought he did a really good job, made a nice catch. He could have had a couple more catches. Matt missed him a couple of times, probably for some big ones. Uh, we watched film this morning. I'm, I'm excited about Casey in his future. You anticipate seeing him more this season back You'll see more of what you've been seeing. Brad, is the idea with Isaiah kind of trying to get him in, in, in situations like this or preparing for the future and playing two games now as opposed to redshirting this year? Uh, I didn't quite understand your question. What did you say again? With him playing in two games now and, and you talking about how you want to continue to use him to get him in situations like that, you're, you're not really thinking about a red shirt, are you? I'm thinking about winning the game. That's the first thing. If he can help us win the game, then he would play. And he's been told that. He understands that. He wants that. As we move forward, you know, where are we at? What, you know, how well we play in the quarterback position? It will be, you know, and how much do we need him in order to win? We'll probably determine whether we play him more than four games or not. But the ultimate goal, like I told him, is to win. that means we got to play him six to win, and that gets us to where we want. But he's going to play if he's a factor. And that's what we're going to do. Just you know, a rise prospect, high prospect, not maybe six to win. Well, I mean, I think he's, you know, the injury part is probably the most frustrating part to him. I, I think he's, he understands there's an adjustment period. I think, I think people, you guys, <coughs> have to put him up on a pedestal. All these guys really take a snap in college football. It's really not fair to those guys. Uh, but because they got to come in, they got to prove it. I mean, it's, 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 you're playing against a whole different level type of talent than what you play in high school. Some kids adjust fast, some kids, but the quarterback position, it takes time. It don't matter if you flip a switch and the guy comes in, he's, he's like he was in high school. There's an adjustment period. So I think Isaiah understands that. He knows that. He knows he's got to get better at certain things. There's certain things he's got to be able to do more consistently. Uh, at the same time, there's enough talent there that he can make a difference in a football game. And uh, that's why you got to make sure you get it ready. You get him reps, valuable reps, so when that time he knows it's when you call upon him, he's ready to go. How do you like open the line blocking against Michigan? Or maybe just tap into some of the stuff you were able to do last year? Well, I mean, I don't say we did anything different. We just executed. You know, we executed a little bit better in the second and third quarter. Uh, it's a lot of the same stuff was still called. Uh, it's a matter of the quarterback seeing it and making the right reads and stuff like that, or us blocking it correctly up front. Now, there might be some things we changed up because Michigan came out and played a little bit of odd stack, which they haven't shown hardly at all. So we had to make some adjustments to that. That kind of hurt us a little bit early on because we didn't get prepared for that. We prepared for a lot of four down, some three down that they do, but the odd stack was a little bit different, a little rigid, so we had to kind of adjust on the run. They did very, very little of that in the past, very little. So I was shocked to kind of see as much of that early on. But, you know, um, we probably did a couple things new, but at the same time, you know, we'll continue to, that, that, that's the game plan. That's, that's basically done every week based upon how a defense plays you and what you try to explore from those guys. Coach, I remember when we saw Bebe that first couple of days of training camp and he looked kind of stiff and yeah. kind of slow and just kind of out of sync. Like, are you surprised with how well he's played through six games? No, I think it's once again, it goes back to them getting the footing. Mm -hmm. I think he's starting to gel with us a little bit. He's starting to get comfortable. It's one thing, and I always tell the quarterbacks this, it goes for every position. It's one thing to know the offense. It's another thing to own it. Meaning, if i got to think, it's going to slow me down. If, I, if you call a play and I react, then I'm not thinking it ain't going to slow down my feet, it ain't going to slow down my technique. Bebe was really thinking early on, trying to figure out where I'd go, I'd run this rust, you know, stick on this step. Now it's a little bit more fluid, and uh, I think he's a lot more uh, uh, natural, per se. Hey guys, we got some players back here if you want to get with them. We'll wrap it up with Rod here and another question or two.